Hello and welcome to this tip on multi-streaming. So we've all heard about live streaming. It is one of the best ways to get the most amount of reach to your particular audience. The different social media channels are rewarding people who are live streaming on their platforms. It shows that video is still a very engaging type of content that you can put out there to build a relationship with your audience, demonstrate your capability, show that you know what you say you know, and give people a taste of your personal style, your character, the way that you deliver what it is that you teach or coach, advise or guide people on. So if we're going to live stream to get this massive reach, i.e. your live stream goes out publicly on social media channels, every time somebody likes or comments on that live stream, their friends have it come up, your feed come up in their feeds as well. Now, we have a lot of things to do as entrepreneurs, business owners, coaches, consultants. The last thing we want to be doing is spending hours and hours and hours every single day repeating our live streams on all of the different channels. You can actually live stream to multiple different destinations all at exactly the same time. Awesome! Saves you obviously heaps of time and gets you the most amount of reach possible all in one go. There are many different tools that you can use to multi-stream and um, I, there are loads out there. But uh, the one I'm using right now, in fact, is one called StreamYard. Um, so I've just got a little bit of a, oops, got a little bit of an error coming up here at the moment. Um, sorry, bear with me one second. There we go. So I'm using one called StreamYard. I'm just going to put the link up below right here. StreamYard is a tool that I've been using to multi-stream. It's what I'm using at the minute to do this particular stream. Now, right now, while I'm doing this live, this is actually distributing to eight different channels all at the same time <laughs> right now, which is very, very cool. Um, now, like all tools and software out there, they have a free version and they have a paid version. So I am disclaimer on the paid version and I can't for the life of me remember how much it is. Um, so you have to check out StreamYard's pricing. Um, but if you want to go and check it out, go and sign up for a free account. And I'm going to show you uh, just a quick demo right now how to use it. Um, you can actually get a $10 credit if you use my affiliate link. So that is an affiliate link, sarahcorn.com forward slash StreamYard, um, if you want to check that out. Now, I'm just going to show you my screen with you just to show you what this looks like. Uh, so let's do a share screen right now, sharing screen. Uh, let's say yes to that. Okay, so um, here is what StreamYard will look like when you first log in. Um, and the first thing you'll actually need to do is go in and add your various destinations. So you can see here, I've got my personal Facebook profile. Um, I've got my business Facebook page. I've got a couple of Facebook groups that I run. So I've got my Entrepreneur to Edupreneur Course Creators group. Uh, I've got some of my, one of my private uh, coaching groups in there. I've got my personal LinkedIn profile. I've got my business LinkedIn page. I've got my YouTube channel and I've got Periscope for Twitter, which is the Twitter, uh, Twitter, Twitter's live streaming platform there. So you can see there right now, I'm actually streaming to all of these destinations at the moment, which is just amazing. Now, once you've connected your social media channels, which is literally as easy as clicking a button, um, what you can do now is go on to create a broadcast. And we'll see how well this works right now because I am currently live on this platform. But um, what you're going to do, first of all, is tell StreamYard which of these channels you want to stream to right now. You might only want to stream to one or two of them. So I can turn on all my Facebook pages, my groups, my LinkedIn channel, my LinkedIn page, la, la, la. Uh, or I'm only allowed to do one LinkedIn destination at a time, your YouTube channel, my Twitter. You put in the title of your stream. You put in the description of your stream. Now, again, you will see that description I've got above this video right now. That's where the description appears when you type it in here. Um, when you press customize for each um, destination, it's not letting me do this. I knew it wouldn't because I am currently using StreamYard right now. But if I go to create broadcast, um, this is where it opens up um, the uh, platform for you to then go live. So it doesn't go live the second you press create broadcast. This is then where you can actually go in and cho choose what kind of um, visual presentation um, you want your screen to come up like. Now at the moment you've got this funny tunnel because I'm showing you the screen that I'm on right now. So you can see over here on this um, right hand side, I've got these little banners that are scrolling along the bottom, little ticker banners. Yeah? So I can say here, come and get my free course creation starter kit. So I can click on my starter kit banner. And now you can see underneath this video, it's now promoting my starter kit. Um, I might say, you know, I might talk about my academy and you can pop that link in there. Other little things to get engagement is um, I've 
cook up this big banner to the next tip. <laughs> so you can kind of be really creative with this um, with, in terms of what it is that you um, you pop up. So I'm going to actually hide that. Um, uh, hide. We've got all kinds of all kinds of crazy things um, popping up right now. Um, so you can also change your branding. So over here on the right hand side, you can actually preset your color codes that match your exact branding for your business. So everything that you're doing looks all nice and neat and tidy and conforms. You can add your own um, logos, which I've got here. Um, and what's called an overlay. So you can see here I've got um, my name at the bottom and I've also got this live button. Basically, I just went into Canva um, and I popped the live button on there and I've made it an overlay. And that's because I like to repurpose a lot of my videos, pop them up um, you know, in, in blog posts and things like that. And I like people to know that if a video was recorded live, it was recorded live because as we know, the quality isn't as good when you do something live as it would if you pre-recorded something in proper video editing software. And so I like to just have that live button or symbol or logo on there just to kind of go, just to let you know this was once a live stream video, okay? <laughs> That's my own personal preference, it's up to you. Um, and then of course you can have chat boxes if you've got guests on the show. So you actually see down the bottom here, there is the opportunity to um, invite guests. And so I can choose if I had multiple guests on here, we can have all of our faces showing at the same time. We could share our screens and have all of our faces over here on the left hand side. So um, I can also go to the comments here. So you can actually see here um, I've got people saying hello um, from the various de destinations that I'm live streaming to at the moment. So hi, Shrabani. Hi, Debbie. Um, uh, this is really great to see you all. So that's, again, how you can engage with your viewers using the StreamYard platform because the comments come in from every single destination that you're streaming to into this one location, which means you don't have to have all of those different channels open all at the same time. Not as fun. Um, the other thing I absolutely love about StreamYard is um, that it records all of your streams for you as well. So if I go over here to my past broadcasts, um, you can actually see, um, there's one I did yesterday, uh, the three little dots down here, I can actually go and download the recording. So I have the MP4 right here on my desktop as well. So if you want to then go and upload or repurpose that content somewhere else, maybe you want to uh, put it inside an online course, I don't know, or inside uh, any of your resources anywhere, um, that's all available for you here as well. So um, fantastic tool. I do absolutely, completely and utterly love this tool. And as I said, um, if you do decide to go and give it a test run, uh, I'd love it if you use my affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything extra. SarahCorn.com forward slash StreamYard. Um, you get a $10 credit and so do I. <laughs> so everyone's a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dealer. There we go. Um, if you guys would like some more tips like this, uh, do go on and check out my free course creation starter kit. If you want to create your own profitable online courses, get yourself online selling your knowledge and expertise this year to make some more money and help some more people and grow your business, go to sarahcorn.com forward slash starter kit and uh, you'll get my 10 steps to course creation right there. Otherwise, I'll see you for another tip real soon. Bye for now.